Good morning, and we are low energy as we expected. Today is day four of the true depletion. We are eight days out to the show, meaning that eight days out on the 17th or day zero. So today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday, and the next Sunday we are completing men's physique and bodybuilding. What do you have underneath your shorts? Please show me. What do you have underneath your shorts? Oh, be careful, man. YouTube is gonna demonetize us. No, man. This is for the bodybuilding, so now we're gonna practice our posing. Our first is men's physique, so these shorts are gonna mimic the board shorts. Then we're gonna do our free posing and our bodybuilding posing. And bodybuilding, there's three poses that we need to hit. First is the mandatory poses, then we have our regular bodybuilding poses, double bicep, chest spread. And then we have our 60 seconds free posing, which you've already seen. And we have created our own choreography for the three seconds and the bodybuilding. So now it's time to drink up our morning brew. I have increased some of the dosages from the morning pills. So we've got a handful of pills. There you go, look at that. Perfect, Perfect thumbnail. This is how YouTubers take thumbnails. A lot of people say I cannot take only one pill. This is a big pill for them. I've got a handful. Bro, let's see it. Take chum, a small chum, sip. Chum, 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 chum. And in one go. Oh shit, look at that shoulder. Damn. You Bro, you know, know how long I have wanted these washboard abs. You know how long. And now when I have them, I fucking appreciate them. It's not like, ah, I have abs, yeah, it is what it is. No, I put in the hard work. You only appreciate what you really work hard for. Money, women, body, mind, everything, like, right? Everything you want to achieve, you have to set your mind to it and apply the backwards method. Don't just do effective forecasting. Let's go into the posing. And we just finished up our cardio. Very good session today. Caffeine pills definitely helps a lot. If you're going to be digging in so much like what we're doing right now. Actually, one of my friends, I told him that we're digging now. And he said that we're actually mining. And we're using also dynamite to, get, to explode that fat off us. So yeah, that was a funny... Uh, way to put it the main hormone that determines fat loss is not insulin cortisol what is cortisol body it's a stress hormone isn't it it is your stress hormone in the body you can actually regulate on a daily basis yes so marge please explain the two types of stress that the body goes through there is acute stress and there is chronic stress chronic is this one because it's fuck you for the chronic <laughs> So acute stress is good stress and it occurs from training and from exercising which is good for our body because it adapts and it grows. However, on the other side, chronic stress is your daily lifestyle stress. From what you do on a daily basis, depending on how your lifestyle is and what your habits are, if you are stressed out every single day about work, about many different things, relationships. And with chronic stress, the way that we are regulating it right now is that we've set this prep for the show as a complete priority for us. So we're not doing anything else except just thinking about the posing, about the meals, the training and the recovery. And we have a meal one of the day, spinach, 80 grams. You see how much 80 grams is? This is like 15 calories at most. And we also have 120 grams of chicken. Put some Himalayan salt on that. Nice and easy. All right, we're gonna enjoy this meal. See you in the next clip. I just had to film again because I had my first bite. This cast iron, oh my day, saving me so much. This is so delicious. It's literally like a barbecue at home. Mmm, absolutely amazing. Taste buds right now so enhanced anything i put in the mouth probably tastes amazing we have been tanning for about one hour already my back is probably red as a lobster i wanted to get on here and answer a question that i often get asked marty what supplements do i take or lazarus twins what supplements do we take 
you don't need all the supplements that I'm taking right now simply because you're not in the state that I am. What I recommend for all the supplements, both of us, is first one, caffeine. What? Why, why caffeine? I'm already having enough coffee. If you're having plenty of caffeine, yes, drink that. Don't need to buy caffeine pills, but you need caffeine for more energy throughout the day. If you feel like you don't have enough energy, you come back from work at 7 p.m., you feel like you just want to lay down and you want to rest and you want to digest and you want to eat, and then it's 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and it's too late to go to the gym and you miss out one day and then you miss out another day. Caffeine can give you the energy boost, especially if you're in a caloric deficit and you feel like you don't have any energy at all to go to the gym. It should help you out a little bit as well. And what I have learned from Greg Shit, the daddy of YouTube Fitness, is that when you have more caffeine in your system, you move more, you tend to burn more calories from NEAT, non-exercise thermogenesis. That's a very big part of your daily caloric output. Buddy, what is the second supplement that you recommend? As a natural lifter, I would recommend for you to take creatine. Creatine has plenty of studies and showcases that it improves strength in the gym and also it helps retain water in the muscles. Therefore, you might as well buy it. It's really, really cheap. Go for creatine monohydrate. You can buy it from my protein or from eBay, it doesn't really matter, the component is the same. And the third supplement on our list is electrolytes. They will help you have plenty of fluid volume in the system, you have better circulation to the muscle and better signaling of the nerves, which also means that you're going to have better contractions of your muscles. That is why I highly recommend getting higher dosed electrolytes and more potent electrolytes, especially before the workout to fuel your workouts. And number four is the most obvious one, whey protein, or there can be three options of, there is three options for whey protein, regular whey protein, whey isolate, and whey hydrolyzed. It doesn't really matter which one you buy, the cheapest one is gonna do the job for you. You do not need to focus on meal timing and specifically going into the details of what each whey does because you're not on that level. If you're just a regular gym goer and you want to see progress in the gym, whey protein is going to be perfect for you, but only if you do not eat enough protein during the day or if you want a really quick protein shake after the workout and you cannot eat very, relatively soon after the workout. But there's plenty of researches which showcase that you do not need to eat protein after the workout. It actually, there's 24 hours window after the workout for your protein synthesis crazy what is important after all to eat after your workout is carbs clean carbs and the fifth supplement that we recommend is EAAs not the bullshit BCAAs because those are just three of the main nine essential amino acids and EAAs has all of them oh no those are the main building blocks of the body so why not get all of them it's a really good intro workout especially combined with cluster dextrin or potential dextrose if you don't have the money for cluster dextrin. As an intro workout, that, that means you have to take them during the workout so you can fuel your muscles with the right amount of amino acids and help them recover faster. In conclusion, when you combine all of these supplements listed right here, you are going to have better workouts, better recovery and better overall performance and you're going to feel better. And if you feel better, you're going to look better and you're going to do better. There you go. This is the only supplement stack that we recommend for naturals. And speaking of supplements, we are going to have our protein shake right here, right now in the park. Get that white powder out and put it in the mouth. Not in the nose. By the way, this type of skin fold I have wanted for so long just a regular skin fold and I still have some type of app definition right there just to wanted to where's my say protein broski where's your protein right here brother oh there you go cheers brother cheers
chest day today, focusing on the incline chest, the upper chest. Incline cable flies are my favorite chest exercises for the upper chest. We're gonna do only six to eight working sets because we don't really need to do any more, especially now that our muscles are super fatigued. We're gonna do two sets, maybe three sets for shoulders and three sets for triceps, just enough to get a pump and that's it. Anything more will be very catabolic, therefore breaking down muscle. We don't want to be catabolic, we want to be anabolic. Just engaged, just is not engaged at all. I don't know, feel it very like maybe 20%. That's not good at all. Four more days of depletion and the workouts are going to be dreadful. Literally, the worst workouts ever. Five years of good training in the gym, actually nine, and these are the worst workouts. Eat your carbs for good performance. Coach, 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 our glycogen is depleted. Zero, zero. This is the first time we're doing chest and we do not feel anything, anything. I think that's good. What do you say? Well, we do have the straight. We do this and way. it's flat right now. Yeah. It's time to carp up. So See you on Monday. And what we decided to do because pump is absolutely gone, there is no glycogen in the muscles. So what we are doing is just more compound movements and just flushing the reps out as much as we can, just repping them out. There's not much you can do at this phase, just keep pushing with compounds. That's what I learned right now. That way I can engage more of my muscles everywhere, shoulders, triceps, core as well a little bit. So now we're going to move on to shoulder press with dumbbells. Hello there. Okay, as you saw from the workout, our glycogen levels are at zero. Zero. No carbs in the system. So now we're gonna finish off the dinner with some chicken and fish, which is leftover from the day. And we've got some broccoli in the microwave. And of course, the night stack pill, which is 5 HTP and magnesium. And some testosterone and testosterone for strength. Open in the mouth. Delicious. Cheers to that. Cheers. Alright, today has been eight days out. Tomorrow is seven days out. We have four days of true depletion. Tomorrow, maybe we increase a little bit of fat. We shall see with the coach. We shall let you know. Thank you for watching. And we base our next. And we base our meals for the next day on our morning check-in with the coach. So now it's all about day-to-day -day progress and those minor tweaks. We have to critically hit our water intake for the day, which is five liters. And then we're gonna slowly build it up as well. All right, so like the video, comment if you want to comment something or dislike it. Thank you for watching and good night.